Hey there, Libra. This is Renee, and welcome back. Libra, this reading is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on in, for your next 48 hours? If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, Libra, let's get into some of your energies. Let's get right down to it. Okay, we have courage and bravery. Make sure it's in view. Okay. There may be something that you need to have some courage in. You may need to put on those big girl panties or them big boy panties and, you know, just work through it. Your commitment is being tested. Okay. At the bottom, we have surrender to the divine. So, yeah, I feel like in the next 48 hours, there's something going on. There's something that may be a little intense. Let's see. Let's see. What else do we have for Libra? Honesty and communication. So, you may be having a, a conversation with someone in the next 48 hours. It may be very important. It may be an important conversation. Um, but I feel like something is kind of crucial. Something needs to be communicated. And I feel like it's going to kind of test your patience. It's going to test your courage, you know. Yeah, we have the strength card. So definitely something is coming through that you're going to need some strength. But you are strong, Libra. You are viable, capable. And I feel like, you know, you have the strength. Because, you know, you have strength card and you also have courage and bravery. Look at that. Isn't that amazing that that came out together? We also have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like something is testing you. But I feel like you are feeling like you're kind of done with that energy. Something is ending. Or something has to end. Okay, something has to end so that something better can begin. Wow, we have the Ten of Cups. So we have 10-10 here. Something very amazing is happening. Even though there's an ending, Libra, there's a new beginning here. There's still happiness. There's still vitality, you know? I feel like something had to end to give you that beautiful peace of mind. Very interesting. Okay. You know what? I feel like I'm going to get another deck. And we're going to clarify these. Okay. Spirit, tell me about this message for Libra. What's going on in the next 48 hours? What is a strength card? What does Libra need to have strength in? Tell me more. Okay, yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. There's something that you're going to be leaving behind, or you're thinking about leaving it behind, because we have the World card in reverse. So something is not done. Something is not over. You know, and I feel like that's the reason why you need strength. You need to build yourself up. This may be a love situation that's not over. There may be struggles going on. There may be... A need for communication, a need to release certain things from your life, you know, a need to communicate your needs in a way that the other person will listen. But I feel like you're at the at the point where there's something that you want to release, but you really can't just bring yourself to do it. And uh, that's the reason why we have this world card in reverse. Um, 
you know maybe it has to end you know maybe there has to be a conclusion but you know you're kind of reluctant to you know end this completely you're kind of reluctant and that's the reason why this world is in reverse because something you do not want to release something there is still work left to be done in the situation and that may be this two of cups situation see this could be love this could be some kind of partnership or friendship as well so take it how it resonates Libra okay tell me about this ten of swords tell me about this ten of swords energy for Libra seven of cups the two of Pentacles Wow and the five excuse me the seven of wands okay okay Libra um, there's something that's ending because you feel like someone has too many too many options too many opportunities someone may be cheating someone may be not putting you as a priority but I feel like it has you on the defensive I feel like you're kind of building up these walls you're defending something you're protecting yourself from harm you're protecting your feelings and you're in this mode of okay if this is really over then you know I'm gonna protect myself I'm gonna shield myself from any of these feelings and you know um, but whatever this is I feel like there's there's too much competition there's too many illusions maybe too many lies and you feel like it's something that that you just can't make a choice to accept so you're building up your walls to defend yourself see spirit tell me more about this ten of cups tell me more about this ten of cups please the queen of swords no the king of swords oh the five of cups and the moon card okay so I feel like with this okay you also have the four of swords on the bottom so with this energy Libra I'm feeling like you know you're you're protecting your energy but you also want to explain and communicate what you're you're kind of hiding what you are holding in so you want to let all this energy out you want to just let them have it let them hear everything that you have built up inside of you and i feel like as you're releasing this energy you're like getting healing you're gaining your recovery with this four of swords energy and you're feeling like okay I'm just gonna be by myself I'm gonna rest I'm gonna recover I'm just gonna take time out for myself so I feel like that's what you're doing that's why we have the ten of cups here because you're you're like coming to the conclusion that okay if if I need to release this then this is for my best good and I will heal, I will recover, I will get through this any way possible. Okay, beautiful energy, Libra. Okay, tell me more about this situation for Libra. Tell me more. What conclusion do we have? What is going to be the outcome for this situation? Okay, yeah, we have the high priestess. You've learned the truth. You're trusting yourself. We have the Ten of Swords again. So you're trusting yourself. You're trusting that you're making the right choice. And it may be ending the situation. It may be walking away. But I feel like you're trusting your decision. Everything is now out in the open. You, the, There are no more secrets. There are no more mysteries. So you feel like 
you know, it's all out in the open. This is done and over with. I know the truth. I've gained my, my truth. You know, I spoke my words. And this person has spoke their words. But... I feel like with two swords here, two ten of swords, I feel like you're kind of done with this energy. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of dealing with this energy. Okay. Yeah, with the, the ten of swords energy, we have the king of swords again. And we have the queen of swords. So I feel like you spoke your truth. They spoke their truth. And I feel like there's communication. There may be some kind of resolution to the way of, okay, yes, we'll, we have mutually decided that it's best for us to go a certain way. You know? So I feel like you've both come to certain conclusions. But... I feel like you are you still weren't fully ready for the impact, if that makes any sense. I feel like you still feel like there was things left unsaid. Like you're still trying to gain some kind of understanding about the situation. When in fact there may not be any real understanding in the situation you know sometimes people do things for unknown reasons and it impacts us very strongly that's the reason why you have the strength card and the courage and bravery so I feel like spirit is letting you know at this time you are strong you are capable to get through any obstacle okay we have the eight of Pentacles and we also have the judgment card so on this ten of cups energy I feel like you are now in this space where you just want to work on the things that make you happy you want to bring yourself closure you want to have a new beginning have a new start and find new love we have the king of cups at the bottom so, yeah, and I think that you're, you're just in this mood of, you know, recovery and rejuvenation. I'm going to go ahead and work on myself. I'm going to take care of my needs. And I'm not going to worry about the rest. And I, I feel like with this King of Cups energy, there may be someone who's coming in to support you. Maybe someone that you least expect. But someone is coming to give you a shoulder to lean on with this King of Cups energy. So th that's very beautiful. A little bit more of a message, please. In the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you feel like you're more stable alone. You feel like you want to take time out to kind of gather yourself. To gather your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. We also have... The Eight of Cups. So it's definitely... Now you've got the Eight of Cups twice. So it's definitely something that you're you're moving away from. You're moving into a better space. You're trying to find your balance, your stability, your... You know, set your priorities. And... I feel like you're really taking time out to really heal yourself. To feel more balance. To gain your grounding but I, I really feel like you you're gonna feel more self-sustainable you're really gonna feel more self-sufficient you're taking care of your needs you're working on yourself and you're gaining your happiness yes we have the king of wands so again that person that comes in to offer you a shoulder to lean on this may be some kind of new passion, new love, new friendship. But something in this reading is, you know, there's something that's ending, but there's something that's being sparked. There's some kind of passion that's beginning. So, I feel like there's someone coming in that you were not aware had feelings for you. 
you were not aware that this person really had your back at all, at all times. You know, I feel like it's going to be very surprising to you who's going to step forward and offer you that support. Very interesting. Let's see. Let's get some more. Let's get... Okay, we have perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. So yeah, I feel like with this beginning of the reading, you're disconnecting. You're moving past this energy. You're letting this go. You know, we've got the Ten of Wands, excuse me, the Ten of Swords twice, which is done over, you know, something is completed and then we have this zoom out gaining a perspective none of this matters so i feel like yeah you've totally released your energy from whoever this person was because you feel like i'm i'm, I'm really feeling like it was a cheater okay we have child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you Okay, so yeah, I feel like you, you're trying to gain clarity on the situation, but you already know the answer, Libra. You already know what's going on. You, you already sense this. You already feel it. So you understand that this thing had to be released. Okay, we also have the Seven Star Sisters. Bringing Creations, Tapestry of Life, Expression. So I definitely feel like there's something very unexpected in the near future. There's someone that you least expect who is going to offer help, support, and a shoulder to lean on. And I feel like with this person, that support that you greatly needed is about to ignite something very special very needed at that time you know very beautiful okay let's get another message for Libra yeah spiritual growth I feel like spirit is letting you know that you are being protected at this time you are being lifted up we also have vulnerability and freedom so in a way, this is releasing your energy and setting you free. Setting you free from, you know, maybe there was conflict in the situation. Maybe there was some kind of disturbance that was kind of hard to deal with. So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that... You know, you are protected. Okay, we have. It's time to take action. Definitely. It's time to take action. It's time to release what needs to be released. Look at this. We have Leo energy again. Confidence is your key to success. So, you have the strength. You have the knowledge. You have the wisdom. So, all you need to do is make your move. Make the movement. Okay, let's get one more message for Libra. One more message for Libra, next 48 hours. Okay, humanity and benevolence. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, and see the light in the world. So yeah, see the lighter side. Sometimes things have to end. For better things to come into our view. You know. At the bottom. We have experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So yeah. Like I said. I feel like this new love experience. Something that you are not expecting. A very surprising invitation. Is coming for you. 
So that is beautiful energy. Libra. Okay, this is your 48 hours. So I hope this helps Libra. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Okay, and to your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.